your journey. Let's start this eBay journey, folks. Uncle Jesse here with you. What's going on? 2019 Top Series 1 Baseball Hobby uh, Half Case Number 8. In a half case, there are six boxes. So here we go. All right, so this takes me about an hour. You know, full disclosure here. So I would not blame you at all if, you know, you start working on your taxes or something like that. You know, do something uh, somewhat constructive. Not that this is not constructive. It's just uh, very painful to watch. Uh, a whole lot of cards. Going to take me at least an hour. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can, though. As fast as I can, but, you know, without actually ruining the break. So, I will show everything and all that good stuff. I'm pretty good at finding the sharp print, so I'm not worried about that. It's just the ungodly amount of cards in this stuff. Alright, here we go. So yesterday I tried pack stacking, thinking that would you know make it go by faster. It didn't. What up, Aaron? How you doing, my man? For Tyler and Wayne Ellington? Man, I would have liked to keep Wayne Ellington. Who did we trade? <laughs> Excuse me. Woo! Sorry about that. Alright, here we go. You caught me, you caught me off guard there, bruh. Smith of the Giants 2019 Yeah, we got that W. I uh I ended up watching the the second half of the game. Jose Barrios Twins 2019. And D Wade, even though he's old, and you can tell that he's, you know, lost a few steps. That dude is so cold-blooded, bro. Like, even in his last, like, he's just, in his last legs, he can still play. Very, very efficient. Extremely efficient. 
Not for nothing, D. Wade can play for at least another year or two. Like, no lie. Glaber Torres, 2019 Yankees. We have to random that because there's no uh, team on that. There was a point where, you know, the, the Blazers would, like, make a little comeback. And then D. Wade would just hit him with a timely bucket. Yeah, Aaron, that's, you know, that's why we traded him. Trying to, you know, trying to clear some space, man. We really overpaid for that guy. We're trying to trying to get rid of, uh, you know, I said it last night. We should get rid of Tyler Johnson, and we did. So that's good. I forget who Ryan Anderson is, though. Isn't that that, uh, he's like a seven-footer that can shoot the three, I, th I believe, right? Didi Gregorius, oh, the Yankees. Now, as you can tell, that is a short print. Right there. So I know Jason doesn't top load. I mean, we top load our stuff, you guys. But for the interest of time and our sanity here, I won't be top loading anything. Unless it's like a one of one. You know, we, we pay people for that. So I'm just going to sleeve and go. Yeah, maybe that'll save us some time. We'll see. How you doing, Mr. Fancy? So nice to see we traded Tyler Johnson. Good kid, man, but overpaid for him. And quite frankly, we have better guards on the roster. So hopefully he does well. Always part of the Heat fam. Especially since we discovered him and coached him up into a solid, solid NBA player. Just $19, $19 million? Not so much. Joey Gallo of the Rangers 2019. We uh, were reaching for that one. What you call it? Really want to get Whiteside traded, man. If we could get rid of Whiteside, that'd be awesome. David Bote to 50 for the Cubs. I saw that trade earlier for the Sixers with Tobias uh, Tobias Harris on the lineup. So what's the what's it looking like? Um, ben Simmons at the one, Jimmy Butler at the two, Devon Travis uh, to 2019 for the Blue Jays. Uh, who do they have at the three? Maybe Tobias Harris at the three. I kind of wish they kept Sarek so they could put him at the four and then Embiid at the five. That would be a monster lineup. Yari Molina, Cardinals relic. I think the Sixers have, you know, pretty much secured. If, if that trade, I think that trade is going to be amazing for the Sixers. I think that trade puts them over the hump. That's what I think. You know, the Celtics are nice. They got a lot of talent, but they're still young. And, you know, they're going through some stuff right now. I don't know if they have a team to compete with the Warriors. Well, you know, you might, you know, honestly, you're not wrong. They can compete with the Warriors. Can they beat them? Remains to be seen. But on paper, they they definitely have a good team on paper. This is Aguilar of the Brewers. I, I think they can uh I think the Sixers have the best team in the East now with that trade. I gotta look at the current lineup and see what their uh, what their rotation might look like. Damn it, I said no top loading. But that was a good trade. I'm happy the Heat got rid of some uh, baggage, if you will. We got to trade Whiteside, though. We got to get rid of that guy. We got to find somebody stupid enough to take that contract. The Lakers have officially backed out of trades for uh, trade discussions 
for Anthony Davis, if I'm not mistaken. They were asking for way too much. They were asking for like four first round picks and like all their young stars. I'm talking Kuzma, Ingram, Ball, Zubak, Josh Hart, and four first round picks. Hell no. For Anthony Davis and Solomon Hill. Solomon Hill is a solid defender at best. Who can shoot the three every now and then. And Anthony Davis is not worth all of that. I'm sorry. Zubak is, you know, if he can get some more minutes, more playing time, put in some work, I think Zubak can turn into a, a top 10 center in the league. A top, a top 10 big man. Like, he has... He's got talent. He's got talent. He just got, you know, if he has the work ethic, I really think he can be a top 10 big man in the league in a few years. As far as the Pelicans, man, uh, they're gonna they're either going to trade him, which they're not going to trade him, because with that offer, the Lakers, I don't think anybody can offer them a better deal. Maybe the Celtics can offer him. You know, like Kyrie Irving, Jalen Brown, Al Horford or something. Like maybe they could swing some deal because they have, you know, they got first round picks too. Because uh, their GM has been stockpiling picks and whatnot. So the Celtics can make a move for the Pelicans out of nowhere. Trading deadline is tomorrow. I don't see anything happening. Uh, but who knows? At this point, the Pelicans are going to lose him for nothing. Because he's going to be a free agent in the summertime. And he's just going to bounce. He should pull a Kawhi Leonard and just, oh, I'm injured. And just, you know, set out the whole season. I think he actually is injured right now, though. Second box. Nolan Ryan, Astros uh, patch. Game used memorabilia, apparently. Bobby Hamilton on the Reds, 2019. Freddie Freeman, Braves, 2019. Keller Royals 2019. The Suns should trade Booker. He's always hurt. Is he really? I don't follow the Suns that much. I know the kid's a baller, though. I remember that draft, the, the Heat had a chance to pick him up. But we opted for Justice Winslow, who I was very tough on for the first three seasons of his career. But this year, since we've put him at the point guard due to injuries and whatnot, and just experimenting, because uh, Coach Spo 
is cool like that. He'll experiment with lineups all year long. Which I like. It keeps players on their toes. You know, you got to be prepared on any given night. You never know when you're going to be in the starting lineup or in the rotation because of, you know, who are playing that day or what have you, matchups and whatnot. So, dude, I love Coach Poe. Coach Poe is probably the most underrated coach in the NBA right now. Like, the man knows his stuff, extremely hard worker, and he deserves everything he's uh, he's earned so far, honestly, in his career. Um but yeah, man. I don't know about Devin Booker. Chris Bryant, Cubs 2019. I don't see him that often. I just, you know, I know he can score the ball like crazy. But like I was saying, Justice Winslow's been balling at the point position so far this year. Michael Taylor of, of the uh, Nationals with the old school tops logo right there. That's pretty cool. I don't know what the card is called. It's it's not a base card or a short print or anything like that. It's a variation. I just don't know the uh, actual name for the variation. I just, you know, point out the old school Tops logo because I'm a loser. Fifth time he's been injured this season. But, like, when he gets injured, is it, like, a couple games and then he's back in the, in the rotation? Or the, has he missed, like, a significant amount of time? I would consider a significant amount of time like more than two weeks. I like these reprints that they have here. Ichiro Suzuki, Mariners. Whit Merrifield Royals 2019. The Heat don't play again until Friday. We're on a West Coast trip right now. But I love I love the amount of respect. And quite honestly, love and affection that they're giving D-Wade everywhere he goes on his uh, on his farewell tour as he's retiring at the end of the season. Man, look at the swag on this guy. Charlie Blackman of the Rockies. That is uh, quite obviously a short print. America. Man, that boy got the... <laughs> he's got the beard... In the mullet rock, go, go, oh, wow, that is, that is intense. All right. Still got four boxes to go. I'm trying to entertain those of you that are still watching. And, uh, go through this stuff here. What the heck is going on, j -Mess? Uh, you know, that's the first I've heard of that. What's, what, what is he doing down here? Listen, Miami, we're working on stuff, man. Not for nothing. We have, we have something going, we're some, we got, we got stuff brewing down here. Um, not sure if anyone knows this, but the Miami Dolphins are the only team in the NFL with a black head coach and a black GM. No other that no other NFL team can say that. Hashtag Black History Month. Did he really? He pushed the mother of his child to the ground? Were they playing were they playing football? I mean you know if we're playing football, I play to win, girl. Wow, Antonio Brown spiraling out of control right now, apparently. And here I was going to say, uh, hope, you know, maybe he signs with the Dolphins. At this point, hail to the no. Oh, wait, he's in Hollywood, Florida? Okay, whoo! That's not Miami, but it is South Florida. Dang it. Making us look bad, AB. And you're from and you're from the hood. Come on, man. 
You're misrepresenting the 305 to 786 right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put out an APB for AB. Antonio bipolar. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Or maybe he's, you know, losing his mind. You go from being poor as hell, you know, to, you know, literally starving because you're poor and can't afford money, to having stupid amounts of money where you can have whatever you want, cameras in your face all the time, people wanting something from you all the time. I would probably lose my mind too and be a little bipolar. Not trying to uh, justify, you know, what he does or whatever, but. I, I always like to put myself on the you know, on the other shoe or what have you. Garrett Hampson, Rockies. I'm funny every day, Aaron. I'm funny every day, bruh. But uh, I do have my moments where, you know, I'm slightly funnier than usual. And Drelton Simmons, Angels 2019. What's crack -a and Jamie? How's it hanging? Low, I hope. Jesse Winka for the Reds 2019. Uh, no, Jamie, no, no new releases uh, until Friday. Friday, there is a new release. It is Panini One Football, uh, which uh, now that you mention it, Jason uh, texted me earlier today uh, that he does have it PYT'd out. I just need to look at the checklist and uh, look at the prices and uh, see what that's looking like. Tuki Toussaint or the Braves of 2019. Hey, we got an autograph. Mike Clevinger of the Indians. Right there. Autographed. Yeah, we got some funky stuff in the store for y'all to play with. And I got a promo going. Uh, I kind of want to put it on the screen. Uh, but all purchases made in the store before 9 o'clock Eastern Time uh, could win up to $200 tonight. Javi Baez. Dude, Jamie, that's been there for the longest. Javi Baez with the swag. That was during the All-Star game, I believe, last year. For the Cubs, Code 6-7, so you know it's a short print. But yeah, I repeat... All spots purchased in the store, meaning our website, uh, and not eBay, sorry eBay. All spots purchased on our website before 9 o'clock Eastern Time are eligible to win up to $200. But yeah, Jamie, it's it's been there for, for a while. McBirdie Pirates 2019. What's up, Alex? How you doing, player? From the Himalayas. Yonder Alonso Indians 2019. I feel like a kid again, man. I've been playing this video game, Kingdom Hearts. I like these reprints. Super cool. 
And, dude, I've been waiting for the sequel since, like, from 13 years ago. I was still in high school. It's, like, one of the greatest games I've ever played, and they came out with, a se like, the third sequel to it, finally. I never thought I would see it. And it's out. And, my God, it's one of the greatest games I've ever played. Short print here for Miguel Cabrera Tigers. I was playing it last night until like 7 in the morning. I love it so much. Oh, that's, I'm currently thinking about it right now. Trey Mancini, Orioles 2019. Like, I can't wait till, uh, you know, my day is over at the office so I can go home and, you know, keep playing video games. I have not felt like that in so long. Which I guess means uh, I'm getting older. Or something. Dude, Aaron, no joke, you know. I, I took Monday and Tuesday off, uh, more or less, because of the same reason. You know, I asked, I asked Jason to switch with me, and, you know, and he and he did it. Because he's, uh, he's Cardboard Jesus, and he's, you know, a perfect human being who can do no wrong. It's such a good game, Aaron. Like, oh my god. You have no idea. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Excuse me. You saw that Down Into the Dark movie last night on Hulu? It's a scary movie? I like scary movies. I was watching this, uh, I like anime, and like I like animated movies and, and shows and stuff like that, and, uh, oh, what's up, Brett? Alright, so here's the deal. So, in order to get the first time credit on our, well, first of all, it's only for purchases on our website, Brett, alright? I know some people get confused and think it's for eBay. But it's uh, for first-time purchases on our website, which is RipCityCars.com. So, all you have to do is go to RipCityCars.com, click Login at the top right of the screen. Then uh, a little pop-up box is going to come up. Click Register. Fill all that information out. Once you're done registering, you're going to receive an email confirmation. What you then need to do is forward that code to me. Our email is ripcitycards at gmail.com. So once I receive your email, and I can confirm on my end that you are a new customer and not a robot or someone that's making multiple emails uh, to basically steal from us, once I confirm that you are indeed a new customer, I'll email you back with a $15 code and instructions on how to use it. So I know it's a little bit of a hassle, a few steps, you know, it takes a few minutes, uh, but it's definitely one way we can protect ourselves uh, from people, you know, that are just making a bunch of emails just to get $15 off their purchase every time, you know, and I hate to say it, but, uh, you know, we've have, we have had that happen before, and we've lost thousands of dollars. But, you know, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. All right, here we go. This is box four here. I don't know how I'm doing on time, but I'm doing my best. 
John Peterson, the Dodgers, 2019. Got to random that. I got any hip hop fans in here? You know, I, I probably don't, but uh, just throwing it out there. Anybody fans of uh, 21 Savage or J. Cole? If, if, if you are, please let me know. Kobe Allard Braves 2019. Uh, blob, just two more. Yeah, I know, I know you don't, J. Mess. You're a, you're a grumpy old man who tells people to get off their lawn and stop playing that music. I'm just joking. Michael Brantley of the Indians. Well, Aaron, you know it's funny you mention it. Cause I can't, you know, I kind of feel the same way. But uh, I seen the video last night of Twenty One Savage and J Cole. First of all, music video is dope as hell, and the song has has grown on me. If you want to check it out, I think it's dope. The instrumentation is crazy on it. The beat is nuts. J Cole's verse is uh, hot fire, and not for nothing, Twenty One Savage did his thing on it. It's called a lot. Like that's that's literally the name of the song. It's called a lot. Twenty one Savage, featuring J Cole. Dude, that thing slaps. So uh, you have been warned. Yeah, hey, short print for Francisco Lindor, the Indians. I am a real American. My man J Mess. How's everything on your end, Jameis? Everything good? You tell you know if any of them young whippersnappers mess with you, you let me know. Uncle Jesse got that hood pass everywhere. Oh, Aaron, I feel you on that. You know what's funny? I was listening to the uh, the uh, the Black Panther soundtrack the other day. And I had listened to it before, but, you know, I kind of skipped through some songs here and there. That's got to be a short print. Freddie Freeman. It is Code 6-7 for the Braves. So, anyway, there's this song on there with uh, SOB. SOB and TDE called Paramedic. Boy, that thing slaps, too, boy. So, if you're, if you're really into that, dude, that, that's as West Coast as it gets. So if you really like West Coast music, check that song out, bruh. Paramedic. With the exclamation mark at the end. I think there's a video for it, too. Man, these cards are so cool. The uh, reprints. Meatballs on 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 pizza? You talking about like actual full size meatballs? I don't know how I feel about that. Tanner Rourke, 2019 Nationals. Remember, y'all, every purchase in our store before nine o'clock, you can win up to two hundred dollars. Tonight only, Cole Stewart Twins 2019. Oh, they cut them in thirds. I mean, isn't well? Never mind. Meatballs and sausages are not the same thing. Italian sausage or any of any other sausage for that matter. So I'm just gonna shut up. Joey Votto, the Reds to 67. I'm gonna shut up, but when he leave, I'll be talking again. What up, Migs? How you doing, Play a Pimp? Uh, I repeat, got a promo in the store. 
tonight only, every purchase made on our website before 9 o'clock Eastern Time gets you an entry, or I should say, will have you eligible to win up to $200 in break credit tonight. So if you would like to potentially win some monies and uh, get some breaks going at the same dang time, I would highly suggest going over to RipCityCars.com and buy everything, really. Just buy everything. And that's how it's supposed to be, Migs. And that's how it's supposed to be. That's what I'm talking about. I'm glad somebody's doing it out here in the streets. Yo, Migs, have you heard that uh, 21 Savage J. Cole track? I was talking about it earlier. So I figured uh, I'd bring it to you over on the breaker side of things. Boy, that thing go hard, boy. Joe Maurer twins. Uh, Pacheroni for the homie. Uh, well, that depends on me, Blob, I guess. I have to look at the checklist because Jason has already priced it out. So I'll look at the checklist tonight and uh, put it in the store. So, Blob, depending on how the night goes, I might put it in the store at 10 o'clock. I might put it in the store at 4 in the morning. You know, depends on uh, on how the night goes. But like I said, I gotta check. I gotta look at the checklist, and if I like what I see as far as how he priced it out, I'll put it in the store. But you know, I am gonna focus on filling breaks. Second to none, DJ Quick AMG up in the club. Wait, is that what? Wait, Aaron, what is going on? Didn't 21 Savage just get deported? I had heard about that. Somebody, uh, or I should say the internet's saying that he's uh, getting to the UK. Got deported to the UK. Yes, sir, Jameis. Yes, sir. So, Aaron, what's the name of that song? So I can bump it. Can never go wrong with some West Coast. Oh, I'm not, you know, that's 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 that old school bigs. I'm trying to hear some new some new man. Some of that new new. It's called uh, Up at the Club, Second to None. That's the name. That's the name of the crew, the group, or whatever. Second to None. Yeah, you had me at DJ Quick. It's got that old school vibe, all snap. And yeah, I mean, if DJ Quick is on it, you know, that, that makes sense. Those ballpark cards are pretty cool. That is a short print, I believe. Christian Yelich, code 67, yes. Now, it came out of the pack like this. Oh, what the heck is that? What the heck was that? That was random as hell. You had that blotch on there. Okay. I want that 2020, Alex. I want that 2020. Uh, you know, I want that stuff that I play in my car. 
and my speakers are gonna you know blow because it's just, it's just knocking I used to be up on like um, all up on my, my on my music man I used to be on the blogs and like you know that pit like all that all the websites and then you know I just stopped caring up in the club I have to remember that. Nick Marcakis, Braves, twenty nineteen. Paul Goldschmidt, twenty nineteen. Uh, D backs. Michael Former for the Tigers. To 76. DJ K Slay is still around? I remember his mixtapes back in high school were stupid. Yeah, I, I wish Young Jeezy still made music. Or maybe he does. I don't know. Shinsu Chu to 50 for the Rangers. Like to this day, I bumped some Young Jeezy, that first album. Or even that second album. Those those are like his hardest albums in my opinion. Specifically that first album. That that Thug Motivation 101. Boy. It's like the greatest motivational album like ever created. some grub I'm like low-key debating ordering something but nah I am hungry though I need to eat some some that's not garbage can't have pizza I had pizza a uh, few a couple nights ago in moderation. Antonio says to tell Rocky, so if I keep eating cheese, you know, this is gonna it's gonna be a bad time for your boy. So can't order pizza. Maybe maybe some chicken wings? You know, there's like a bar across the street. Oh that's cool. I haven't seen that before. Starling Marte with the patch out of graph for the pirates, numbered forty nine of fifty. Very nice. That's the second autograph that's come out of this. That's a lot of autographs considering uh, what I've seen come out of this. Steven Dugar, the Giants, 2018. There's a new rapper called Boogie. I don't know how I feel about that one. Michael Lorenzen, Reds 2019, Ricky Henderson, 
preprint there. I wish Subway was open 24-7. So that way when I got out of here at night, I could just go get me an Italian BMT. Eminem found 50? Did he really? I thought Dre did that. Get some wings, playa. My man eats pizza two to three times a week. <laughs> I wish I could, man. But, you know. Lactose intolerance uh, says no. So I gotta listen to the boss. I thought Dre found 50. Huh. Nah, Subway's definitely not 24 7 down here. Subway, the, the latest Subway I know closes at like midnight. And there are Subway franchises in uh, in South Beach that are open 24-7. But I'm not going to drive... Well, yeah, there there is a Subway on South Beach that's open 24-7. But I'm not going to go way over to South Beach just for a sub. Hell no. Really, Aaron? Huh, interesting. You just blew my mind with that one. Finally, it is upon us. The last box, Mojo. Not for nothing, I feel like the break has gone faster than it actually has. It's been about an hour, more or less, or close to it. But I don't feel it. Yeah, it, time's gone by pretty quickly in this, I think. Or at least, you know, it's all relative, so at least in my, my at least for me, anyway. So, Migs, what's new in your life, player? What you got going on, man? What's up, Joe? Let's make it happen. This is the last box here. I will do that, Aaron. I will do that. Is there a song in particular that you you would like your boy to bump? Yeah, well, Greg, I mean, it's... it's uh, You're not wrong, you know, but there's cool stuff. Like these short prints. Matt Carpenter, the Cardinals... To uh, 67. It is a short print. You ain't lying though, Greg. You you are uh, not lying. But hey, we're almost done. So there's that. Jonathan VR Orioles 2019. Well, you know, Greg, it's uh, like I've said before, this is the uh, the starter set. You know what I mean? And uh, not for nothing, you get what you pay for. So this stuff is uh, pretty cheap, to be honest. But there is nice stuff in here. Jake Lamb, D backs twenty nineteen. Self destruction. All right, so there's two songs I got. I got a bump. Jason Kipnis, Indians sixty seven. I love it, listening to uh, to new mu new music to me anyway. 
Even though it's it's been out for a while. It's new to me. Ha, Megs, you want that old school. That EPMD. Tyler Flowers Braves 2019. Keith Fillmeyer Royals 25. That's a whoa, my man. You wanted a nice Soto. There you go. That is a nice Soto. Short print right there. Code 67. Very nice. Yeah, Jumbo doesn't have short prints, but uh, Hobby does. About one short print per box is what it's looking like. But in Jumbo, there's a one autograph per box for show for show plus two relics. And the relics are cool. It's those uh, hat logo patches, which are very nice. Jacob Nix, 2019 Padres, to me anyway. Almost done. Reprints. All right, last stack right here. I wish I could go faster on this, man, honestly. If I go any faster, I'm going to, like, miss out on the short prints and stuff like that, most likely. Nick Ahmed, D backs 2019. And that's it for the break, y'all. Alright, so. Before I recap, there's some things I need to random. Like, uh. As far as these are concerned, I'm gonna give one to each team. None of these are numbered or anything like that, so. We Gucci on that end. But I'm going to give one to each side. Alright, so that way uh, everybody gets some love. As far as these are concerned right here. You'll see there's a team on the left and on the right. So, uh, that's what I'll do. I'll give one to each. Now for these, I don't have duplicates of these. Well, this is met, so... That's whatever. This one needs to be random amongst everyone. But these three specifically here, you'll see a team on the left and on the right. On each. I don't have duplicates. Otherwise, I would give one to each team. So for these, we're going to do a quick random. All right. So check it. I'm going to roll a die here. If I get an odd number, it's going to go to the left side team. If I get an even number, right side team. So odd left, even right. 
Odd left, even right. Here we go. Even. So it's going to go to the right side team. So this will be Red Sox, that'll be the Astros, and that'll be Braves. So, let me write that down so my sorters know what's up. Boom, boom. Boom. And this bad boy, Albert Spalding, does not have a team designation. Therefore, he must be random as well. So let's roll yet another die. This one's a 12-sided die. I don't do ones, twos, or threes because I'm a weirdo. One plus eight is nine, so let's go nine times. All right, so let me pull up the random on the screen. There it is. And now I need the teams. There it is. All right. So we're going to go nine times in the random. Top team will win the Albert Spaulding insert card. Which I'm sure everybody wants. And the money shot nine. Good luck. Boom. Nine times. Top team, the Royales. So there's a little cheese right there for you. Ha! Get it? If you don't get it, you're uncultured and uh, you need to do something about that. All right, recap time. Pachis. We got Joe Maurer, Twins. Nolan Ryan, Astros. Yadier Molina, Cardinals. And we got a patch autograph for Starling Marte of the Pirates. Numbered 49 of 50. There you go, Timothy. That's see, I'm, That's what I'm talking about. See, I'm... I'm I, you have just rekindled my faith in humanity, Timothy. Thank you. All right. We did get an autograph. For those of, Oh, my God. Whoa, we were missing a hit. No, no, we're not. No, we're not. It's right here. It is Mike Clevinger. Come on. Come on. For the Indians. Right there. The autograph. It's not numbered, but we got two. Uh, we got one auto and one uh, patch auto in six boxes. That's like kind of unheard of. Uh, anyway, we got some short prints. Not sure if this is a short print or not, but it is a variation. It has the old school tops logo right there for Michael Taylor of the Nationals. And then we have some short prints here. We got Juan Soto Nationals, uh, Matt Carpenter the Cardinals. Matter of fact. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Christian Yellis Brewers. Freddie Freeman Braves. Francisco Lindor Indians. Miguel Cabrera Tigers. Javi Baez Cubs. Charlie Blackman Rockies. And Didi Gregorius Yankees. And uh, in case you... Oh, there's also this one. Uh, Jesus Aguilar for the Brewers. Now, in order to know whether or not it's a short print, if you look at the back of the card... Here, let me change this... Uh, setting for you here so you can see it all right so if you see right where my uh, thumb is at there's a code the last two numbers are six seven that means it's a short print base cards end in one zero short prints end in six seven and super short prints end in six eight all right, so that's how I know uh, whether or not it's a short print uh, or really what it is. So just, you know, trying to pass on the knowledge, you know. Uncle Jesse's all about that. Um, anyways, that's going to do it for the break. Thank you, everybody. We'll get it out to you.